Let's graph this equation. We have x plus 2y equals 7. A few ways you could do this. You could use slope-intercept form to graph this equation. Just need to get in this form right here with y by itself, mx plus b. Or you could use a table of values. I think I'm going to use a table of values here. It might be a little easier with this one. So let's put values in and see what happens. We could put 0 in for x, but then we have 2y equals 7, and we get some kind of weird fractions. Why don't we do this? Why don't we put 1 in for x? So if x is 1, 1 plus 2y equals 7. Let's subtract 1 from each side. 2y, that equals 7 minus 1 is 6, because 1 minus 1 equals 0. And we just divide both by 2. That equals 1, and 6 divided by 2, that's 3. That's our first point. And I'm just picking these points. I'm just making up numbers that I think will give me whole numbers and will fit on the graph here. So you can use any numbers. They're going to show up on the line for x plus 2y equals 7. But if you're smart, you can make it easier for yourself. How about we say x equals 3? Because if x is 3, we have 3 plus 2y equals 7. Let's subtract 3 from both sides. 2y, that'll equal, because 3 minus 3 is 0. So 2y equals 7 minus 3, 4. Divide both sides by 2. y equals 4 over 2, so y equals 2. That works. Then why don't we just put 0 in for y? We'll just say y is 0, because 2 times 0, that's 0. So x equals 7. Just put a 7 there. So these are the points we're going to graph for this line here. x plus 2y equals 7. So x is 1, y is 3, x is 3. 3, y is 2, so 3, 2 right there, and one more. x is 7, y is 0. There it is. You can see they line up. Let's put a line through that. Put arrows here, show it goes to infinity. That's the graph for x plus 2y equals 7. And you could have used slope-intercept form, but we did a table of values, and we chose our values so that we'd end up with points. They show up on the line and their whole numbers to make it easier to graph. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.